there you it's go. over a billion views. Right. Over over a billion, over a billion, over a billion interviews. I never, I never want to see anybody here over a huge unless we have that many. Unless we have beer? that many. Please. Okay, check this. Were you always pretty growing up? Uh, yes. Okay. Very, very. Um, no. I was, I was How did you feel about that? I had a twin sister also. Hey, this is back in here, isn't it? Yeah. I had a, I had a couple It's not shit. How did you feel about being the pretty girl? <laughs> did, 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 was it hard to be the pretty girl? Um, it, it was, no, it's never, it's never, it was, it was never hard being a pretty girl. Okay, at what point did you realize that, that you're being so pretty and so insightful and so intriguing to people at what point did you realize that hey man i could really use this it's a gift um i would not i would never say it was a gift but i never i never looked i never looked at it until i was until i was about uh, well, around the age of 19. Come i looked i looked i looked at it different wise because i used to wear my hair short um i would say about four to five four to five inches short so like a crew cut yeah like a crew cut four to five inches short really Did you call yeah it? multiple I colored like my hair. Awesome. Yes. I tried red. I tried red, red tips. Red, red tips. Yeah. And then I tried yeah. red tips with red highlights. To to me. So here, did you red ever, tips and highlights. Did, did you ever like carve like nasty things? In we were watching. Um, actually, at the age of, at the age of fifteen, I had an Egyptian. I had an Egyptian haircut. Right. Which means, which means, it means we you had, walk like an Egyptian. No, which means we. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, no. We just, we just had Egyptian I signs. Well, I would say we, for me and my sisters, okay. we had Egyptian. I had, I had all the Egyptian well. symbols in my head at the age of sixteen, which was, which, which made a lot of people stop and a lot of people say, like, is that what you really want? Is that, do you really like that? Right. All the teachers were on it before, right. before I spoke with before, before I was teachers, able to get back in school. All the teachers was in it. Speaking of teachers, go ahead. I consider myself a fairly intelligent man. Don't worry about that. I got a hole in my lip too. All right. Did you ever feel that, dude? Hey, dude you're so smart. You put, you were like smarter than your teachers. Smarter than my teachers. And you got irritated. Um, and you didn't want to even deal with what they had to say. Yes, I was. I was. I was. I was always smarter than my teachers. Right. So now that being said, did that make you feel superior to the point where you would picture them doing demeaning Actually, things like cleaning uh, the house? Shining your shoes. No, actually, I went farther. I went. I went farther beyond. Okay. What is it? Besides cleaning my house and cleaning my shoes, doing I went, sexual favors. And no, I never did sexual favors. No, no. Did you imagine them doing them for you because they were so below you? Um, actually, if we're skipping grades, at the age of at, at the age of ninth and tenth grade, I actually I actually did, I actually had sexual desires for my um for my wrestling teacher. Really. Yes. What was she? Well, it was a he. It was, he was a he, really? Yeah. He was a big guy. Yeah, he was. He was a big guy. He so walked what, me around. He so walked me around campus. What, what turned you on about that wrestling coach? Was it the smell of the mats, uh, the, the locker room, musty smell? Um, his, actually, his big group, the way he grabbed you, or just the way you knew that you were so smart that. Putting in your hands. Um, the way I knew I was so smart, it was putty in my hands. Yeah. For a simple fact, I say the way I knew it was so smart that it was putties in my hands is because the way he spoke with me. You made him. And the you, way the way he took me under the way he took me under his guidance. And you made him. And he you was made also, him speak like a child, probably. He was also he was also my math teacher. But did you make him speak like, like a kid, like a child? Always. Always. always? Yes. Like what? For instance, um, well, for instance, I would I would sometimes be the only one in the class. Because I also had I, I had a I had a girl who who was very intimidated by me. Why? Uh, I have I have not a clue why she was very intimidated by me. I feel like she was intimidated by me because she wanted to get to know me. Okay. But um after after a while we after a while it's like we kind of we kind of we kind of ignored each other, and then we went for math. Um I had my math I had my I had my math stay the same, and I actually I actually switched my science Great. to biology, which was that, which that's, was. That's my duty. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna switch gears on that. Now. Okay, go ahead. Okay, when you used to make that big brute force uh, wrestling coach talk like a child. Uh huh. For, give me a for instance. What, what would you make him say? Um, mommy, it was mommy when you make me. It was never. It was, it was. It was. It was. It was. It was never like that. Okay. We, we, it was more like show me around the school. Show me where all the hideouts in the school was. And then, you, then you would have sex with him. Um, I never, I never had sex with him. You just had it, sexual it was, fantasies. It was, it was just sexual fantasies. I always, I always kept him, I always kept him out of trouble. 
like out of trouble and out of safety's way. You even never, even though even you though how like much you were always causing trouble. If you saw him, you would want to have sex with him also. No, 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 no. But even though even 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 though we never even though we even though we never had sex or whatever, he would he would he would, he, would, he would always stick up for me and he will always he will always walk me through the school halls. So how many teachers did you have sex with? Um, none. Not You're a nun? Yes. <laughs> Did you really? Yes. Was it? it, was it? it was none. So, being the sexual the my, nun. No, my mother. My mother. My mother always taught me never have sex until you're married. And as much as, as much as going going through, going through my child going through my childhood lifestyle, I really I really took consideration of my mother who was of my mother. Okay. And, yeah. All right, wait, so I have to interject real quick for one second. If you never have sex until you're married, I've been married like 700 times. Okay. Uh, now, talking about sex and your mother, yeah, your like mother here, how do you feel about sexual relations with step-siblings, like a step-brother, a step-sister? That's totally um, that, that's, uh, that's, out of, that's very out of line. Me and my, me, me and my, me and my, me and my, um, three younger, me and my three siblings, we, we spoke of, we spoke among that. Right. We're very, we're, we're very open sex wise. Right. We're, we're very, we're very, very open sex wise about the whole. Exploring your body. Exploring your body and how the, sh and how, and you, how, and how. Your body's a wonderland. My body, my body is never a wonderland unless it's for me. That's what I mean. Unless it's for me. So you're the biggest I, fan. Yes, I'm the biggest fan of my body. So what do you, what's the best thing you like to do when you, what? Bring yourself to an orgasm. The best thing I like to do when I bring my, I like to catch my orgasms. How do you do that? What's that mean? Catching my orgasms. Mm -hmm. Well, say for instance, if I'm masturbating, mm -hmm. and I feel like it's gonna trigger. Like you get that tinge. Yeah, you know, you know. <laughs> sorry, you know, you know where you know where it feels real good. You know where it feels real good at. And then it's like you like you like that feeling. So well, I like personally, I like the feeling. You love that feeling. Yes, I, I love that feeling. I real I truly I truly love that feeling. So if you could have that feeling every minute of the day, you'd have it. Um, I wouldn't have it every I, I wouldn't have it every minute of the day. Um, no, I wouldn't I wouldn't I would I wouldn't I wouldn't have it every minute of the day. It's the simple it's the simple fact that I wouldn't have it any minute of the day because it's like. Well, actually, yes, I'm, you sorry. Would. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. You know what? I can tell right I now. Would, I would. Uh, correct I would. Me, correct me. If I would. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm adult. You're I'm adult. I, I am adult, and I and I love. I love experience my. I love experience my body. I never experienced my body when I was younger. Okay. I never experienced my body I mean, when I was younger. You're young now. Well, yeah. I still. I still. I still am young. Okay. I'm twenty. I'm twenty one, going at twenty two. Right. So, time, so then, so then, in three years, you'll be you'll be nineteen. So, you know what I mean? So here, being that in three years you'll be 19, because when you're that pretty, you believe in alternate realities, right? Alternate realities, um, alternate realities Do you believe is... how, that just because history shows that 1991 is followed by 1992, uh -huh. certain events in your life, like learning something about your body, feeling younger, you could actually get younger in your head, but it, time still gets older. Yeah, time. Okay, now that being time said, no, time never gets older. Time stands still. Time stands still. Time, 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 time stands stand still. Can I ask you a personal question? Please. You're having. You're right on the verge of an orgasm right now. I'm right. I, I'm truly, truly, I am. I know. Truly, you the know version, truly know. version of an orga, uh, truly a version of an orga, uh, of an orgasm. I am. It's having. It's having that pleasure that you really, that you really, that you really. Um, you know how feel. I know that? Uh huh. It's probably my. Third, it's probably. It's, it's my third. It's probably my it's, third or second it's, orgasm. It's, as we've been speaking. Truly, it's probably my second, yeah, as we've been speaking, it's probably my second orgasm. Because your eyes have been fixated, and most people, you know, blink, and you have an uncanny ability, and it's good, because that's focused. You're focused. It is. And it's really amazing to me how you can look me in the eye like that, and you just had three orgasms, you got me speaking funny. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so... Having an orgasm three times. It makes me want to change my. It makes me want to change my legs the other way. Think, how many more do you think you're gonna have before this conversation's over? Um, truly, yeah. Yeah, truly. Um, I, I, I would, I would truly, I would truly guess. You've had orgasms. I am, um, I am a very, I, I'm not I, I, I am a very patient person. So truly, truly, I guess I'm gonna speak to about six orgasms. How does? How I, uh, six, yes, about, yes, about, really? six, about six orgasms I can have. When I do that, what is it? Does it? How does it feel to know that know. millions of people that are watching this right now know that you had six orgasms? <laughs> and chances are, out of those millions, without having sex, they're, they're just, they're they're just a male they're, touch. <laughs> they're, 
do the, do, due to what you said, there's probably been like 20 million orgasms of people out there masturbating because they're so turned on. About what, and how does that